Welcome back everybody, this is always back with another video on the channel and today first of all I would like to say thank you so much for everybody who supported this channel and we were able to gain 50,000 subscribers last week and it was a huge achievement for me and my brother who's been working hard to create these videos. Uh, Alright, so this video is going to be about uh, one of the applications that I want to share. First of all, let's say you are using MacBook Pro and by using a MacBook Pro you get this keyboard. So you have these function keys. Now let's say you are doing a web development and you want these function keys to become a default key. So if you press F1 or F2 that should go and toggle on F2 function key instead of just increasing the brightness or decreasing the brightness. That was a problem I was facing and I was looking for an application which could switch automatically. So let's say if I'm using WebStorm, the function keys should become function keys and if I'm not using WebStorm, then those keys should perform like increasing and decreasing uh, brightness or going to uh, app, app mode or increasing or decreasing the keyboard backlight or forward play pause these buttons right now if we go to system configuration and we go to keyboard we will go to shortcuts uh, actually we're going to go to keyboard and here we have use f1 f t as a standard function key so if i just toggle them off and i just press my function key f2 as you can see it's actually increasing and decreasing brightness but if i just toggle this on it will not do that because i'm using f1 f2 by default but what i want to do i want to toggle this off i want to keep those uh, default function keys but if i select webstorm it should work or it should switch these keys to a function keys so for that we have an application called floor i uh, even search online about this it's a free app so right now what are the default application i mean so right now i'm in this application if i click on the top here you can see that it shows me this is an application i'm using so application name is preview so which function key do you want to use i want to use this brightness like a like a short keys or i want to use as a function key so if i select that and i switch the application it will automatically switch or toggle on and off function keys according to an application so we are going to go to let's just say typescript code and here on a webstorm i will make sure that i will oops i need to go put it back in there right so here i can't see those function keys uh, for some reason because that webstorm uh, menus bar is too big but anyway so if i go here and i select that and i change switch between these I can switch perfectly fine uh, running application so here I can go all the application which are running and I can go to WebStorm I can say okay for just WebStorm I want to switch my function keys on and then I want to switch the Excel keys so function keys on Excel as well so now if I just make it uh, maximize then if I press any key function keys basically it's not actually performing the function so it's actually totally on f5 uh, f4 whatever i typed in so that was a quick uh, video i wanted to make this is a cool application we'll go back and have a look at here because i can see the icon here but if you can't see that because if your menu bar is too big then you can go to another workspace and then just go right click and then click on running application and then switch your uh, function keys to uh, well, the function keys F1, F2 and other, I don't know what to call it, but that's where well, you got the idea. And also, before I finish this video, I would like to show you guys my new course on TypeScript. So if you are learning web development and you want to learn Angular, then TypeScript is a must-have knowledge. So you need to learn TypeScript to be able to start working with Angular. And I've made about five hour long course which covers all the basics including ES6 features so I'll drop a link uh, for this course in the description check it out as well all right guys thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video